Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands is an absolutely immense game, with more depth than you can shake an AK-47 at. You'll develop your own style of play over the many hours you spend in the fictionalised Bolivia, but there are a handful of things which will make your bloody adventure both more efficient and enjoyable. Here's seven things I wish I knew before starting Ghost Recon Wildlands. Always use the drone. Wildlands doesn't make a big deal out of the fact that your soldier carries around a handy recon drone, and it doesn't emphasise just how important it is for you to actually use it. The drone, and to a lesser extent the binoculars, are the ultimate assault planning tool for every situation. It insta-spots enemies and is nearly invisible to the cartel baddies until you literally run it right into their faces. It's fantastic right from the start, and the optional upgrades for things like battery life and range make it even better. If you find yourself getting constantly ambushed by enemies you didn't see, it's probably because you forgot to use this little gadget. Roads are optional. Vehicles in Wildlands are extremely durable, and even the most lowly sedan or busted up pickup truck can be sent down the side of a mountain with very little in the way of consequences. The only time vehicles seem to actually break down and explode is when they're peppered with repeated gunfire, so just avoid stray bullets and you can ignore the roads entirely. The minimap is a godsend. Wildlands doesn't do a particularly good job of hammering into your head just how important the minimap is, but you're likely to learn that for yourself after repeatedly running straight into enemy outposts that were clearly marked on the tiny GPS in the corner. Hot red and yellow areas are the spots where enemies are, though their exact locations remain a mystery until you spot them with your own eyes or the aforementioned drone. The minimap is also great for spotting incoming reinforcements, whether they're part of the cartel, which show up as red, or members of the corrupt Unidad police force, which appear as purple. Go prone. It might not seem like that useful an ability, but while many rock walls and boxes still allow your head to be struck from fire while crouched, prone is your lifeline. Going prone while planning and initiating an assault is also a huge advantage. You can take out enemies from within tall grass without even having a clear line of sight and without being spotted yourself. It's truly a must for maximum efficientness. Fast travel isn't cheating. Have you ever felt like fast travelling to a destination in an open world game is kind of like cheating? In Wildlands it's absolutely necessary. The in-game map is massive, and if you insist on travelling by car or even helicopter 100% of the time, you're going to quickly find yourself with a lot of time to contemplate your life choices. The key here is that getting into small battles in between locations is of little consequence, where in some other open world games it's crucial to levelling up and finding new missions, in Wildlands you're not likely to miss out on anything game-changing if you just do a little magic jump to your nearest safe house. Remember to command your squad. When playing solo with your gang of computer-controlled AI partners, it's tempting to just run straight into battle and let your crew do whatever they want. But trust me, it's best to take the time to send them to specific spots and guide their movements if you want to avoid running over and reviving them every minute. The point-and-click command system is really easy to use and it only takes a second. Plus, your team will be much more effective at actually taking down enemies if you tell them specifically to do it, rather than waiting until they get shot in the chest to return fire. Always tag supplies. Every roadside stop, bunker and base has supplies for you to tag so that your friends can come and pick it up later. Those supplies will help your cause and also give you much needed fuel to unlock additional abilities, weapons and skills in the progress tree. You should never walk by a box, barrel or crate without dropping your tracker inside it, and you'll be richly rewarded with all the unlock credits you could ever possibly desire. It's like a built-in shortcut system, so take advantage of it. Use those tips and it should make your life easier. If you have any more for the people just picking up Wildlands, then let us know about them in the comments below. Click the boxes on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on Game Trader Plus.